Hey guys, alright, today let's look at rushing, how to do it properly in a prop plane. In jets, that's fine to do because it uses speed. But in props, not a lot of people know how to use it. First thing you need is that you need a squadron mates that know that you're actually rushing in, so you're baiting the enemy low. So what you're basically going to do is to create this um, drag racing effect where the enemy follows you. And to do that, I, first I got to get their attention. And to get their attention, what I need to do is very shallow dives near them, baiting them into thinking that they can get me. So that's all I'm doing right now. Now, there's going to be about three to four, maybe five players that's going to follow me. Because the reason being, I did shallow dives. Now, my teammates, they know what I'm doing and they can see that the enemy is following me so now they're getting ready to uh, jump on them so notice all I'm doing is using my actual horsepower in this plane this is the F6FN so on the deck look we're fast we're a naval fighter and right now I'm using my horsepower to set up the kill go, rushing in doesn't mean that you're gonna go and get a couple of kills easy and then go to the next game you can actually use the initial rush of the game to set up the enemy for your teammates so and that's what's gonna happen here see Spitfires they can't fight the speed game so there goes one I think um, Jay Maskey's he's, he's another youtuber he's, he's gonna get like probably two kills under a minute right now so. right now that's what you needed you all you need is trying to get your teammates to follow the enemy and make them turn. As soon as they turn, they're dead. All those guys behind us, they're all dead. Just because we played this drag racing rush and dragged in low game and your teammates knew what you were doing. Now, there's a uh, Spitfire, two, uh, two Spitfires and a Typhoon, they're all gonna be dead. Unfortunately, um, our P-51 and P-38 started turn fighting. They got a little too cocky. So we're going to end up finishing this game. Notice, as soon as um, my teammates made the enemy turn, now that's an initial, uh, no, sorry, that's an initial signal saying, hey, turn into the fight, help your teammates out, because now they're going to be dragging the enemy for you. And that's what we're going to be doing. So here we go. Now, if we were to fight at higher altitude, this game would have gone for far too long. Just because we dragged them low, we played this game of speed, game of horsepower. We just get it killing them off one by one, and they have no chance even catching us. They're, they're literally like fish in a barrel. So, and no, notice, the only really, the, I guess the most um, complicated I ever did, was um, just shallow dive that's it rest I just let, let my uh, fighter take care of its own which is horsepower on the deck look at them the more they turn the more they lose energy the more they lose energy they can't you know there's no way they can keep up with us no. so. he d this guy he doesn't even see me coming in He's gone. And again, you're gonna see all we what we're gonna do is um, attack him in, in basically straight lines and force him to turn. So J Mas J Mas guys, I hope I'm saying that right. He just goes in like straight, then he just baits. That's it. He doesn't turn, he doesn't do anything. He just goes in behind him and force him to turn and climb. So I'm going to show you another clip, basically a little bit more simplified version of what I just showed you now, so you guys can get a better idea of what I do. And after that, I'm going to talk about um, the difference between the F6FN and the normal F6F that stands at 3.7 BR, I think. And I'll tell you a couple of things that, that, that may surprise you. So again, look, look at this. All he did was straight line. And then he just went in vertical up.
There's no way he can get him because he was way too fast. Now going for a couple of shots. And now, look at that. All of a sudden we got the advantage. <laughs> well, we had the advantage for a while now. So, I'm just going to go finish this up and then we're going go to the, go to our um, next scenario. Again, I just rushed in. Again, shallow dives. Remember, you're the fastest. Well, you're one of the fastest planes on the deck. So there's no way any of the Germans can catch you unless if they dove from 3,000, 4,000 meters above you. Notice the shallow dives and the slight turns I do. Slight turns. Uh, with the slight turns, it helps because. Um, when the enemy starts shooting at these speeds because the Germans uh, cannon velocities are so low they can't they can't hit you at these speeds they cannot hit you so notice once again I'm just slowly dragging them low and I see that P-51 coming in we're just gonna do the same thing over again that BF-109 turned he, he just lost a heap of energy the other BF-109 turned. He got killed. Now, now I need to go and watch uh, the P P-51's uh, 6 o'clock. So here we go. Here I come in. Notice, instead of turning, I go vertical. Drop my flaps. Ah, I didn't have enough speed there. And when he turns, look at that. They had the they had the altitude advantage. All I did was just basically got them to ru rush and um, yeah, get on my tail, and we just finished them off one by one. Now let's go to the review of the two planes. Hey guys, all right. Let's talk about the main differences starting with the meta at 4.3 the f6f5n you're gonna go and possibly battle uh, planes that are at 5.3 that can out accelerate you that can out maneuver you quite easily and outgun you even though you got 220s and four um, uh, 50 cows there's there's a lot of planes that can do that but let's let's talk about the meta <laughs> at higher BR, the meta of uh, US players are quite bad. So unless if you have a very tight squadron, you're going to have a very hard time. You're not going to have much fun playing the F6 at 5N. Yeah, it's great when you get down to it, but you are you're going to, you know, battle tough opponents like the A7Ms. Even I even seen KI-84s. So you're going to have a rough time. But one of the main things I noticed between as far as um, uh, outmaneuvering goes against uh, dangerous planes, you can't outmaneuver G55s where the F6F5 can. Now, let's talk about the meta of the F6F5. It's actually quite relaxing and because um, there's less bomber spam and more players at these at lower tiers, they actually want to fight rather than um, be bombers and this thing is it can outturn everything that the germans have the c's the g's the bf 109s clearly the fuck of 190s as well so as far as enjoying um the gameplay enjoying the plane the fighter if you want to play the f6s 5n you need to be in a squadron or you're going to have a bad day if you want to go solo and relax maybe maybe have one or one or two squadron mates this plane's great it's fun to play it's awesome and you can have a lot of uh, yeah a lot of kills with it so plus this plane can out die everything at the battle battle rating and it got an insane amount of um, uh, top speed on the deck where the f6 at 5n 
uh, well, yaks and uh, LAs won't catch you, but if they shallow dive on you, they will catch you. So you got that's a bit of a minus. There's a couple more minuses going against the F6, F5N. So that's the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So see you guys later.